Greetings, greetings, my fellow descendants. It's a boy like JK Pren. I'm back with yet another interesting tutorial. I'm going ahead, Mama G. We're banging everything down in English right now and making sure that you're getting the distinction, okay? Right, hammers aside now. Right, perfect. So we're back, and today we're going to be talking about summary. But before, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment on our content. Thank you very much. We've reached 10,000 subscribers. Um, 500,000 overall views and it's all because of you you've been supporting since day one in 2022 thank you thank you very much um, now before I continue is it possible that you guys can just do us a favor and go to our Facebook like go to our Instagram and like go to our um, TikTok and like our videos and our content subscribe to the YouTube channel and me and you are gonna be on a good note okay anyways let me not waste your time because I know you're writing perfect so we're gonna be dealing with summary today right um Guys, what is the summary? In mathematics, there's a term called sum. The sum of two terms, the sum of whatever. I'm sorry for adding science into this, but I'm too scientific, by the way. Right, so um, sum comes from the word called addition. Right? Addition, right? When we say we are summing something up, which means we are putting things together. So we are adding things together, right? When people are married, they are a sum, they are one thing, right? I hope I'm making sense. So, meaning that a summary is a, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an addition, right, of facts, right? It's an addition of facts, right? Now, but how? It means that if I have one fact and the other fact and the other fact, I add it and combine it to become one thing. So, I'm basically um, putting these two things together to be one thing. But because this thing is one thing, it does not mean that these things do not apply in similar form. What am I trying to say, by the way? Let me not confuse you. Sum means addition, right? Because there's absolutely no way you can learn a topic without knowing what does the word summary mean, right? So sum means addition, and sum means together. In Kasi, you hear people saying, Asam be sum, tonayam, or sisam, tonayam, it's sum. They are sum, it's, it's, it's together, right? But because you guys are working together, it doesn't mean that your friend doesn't exist and you don't exist. It just means that it's a collective point of view, right? So guys, in simpler terms, a summary is a simpler version or a simplified version of a certain thing. Right, so what will happen in English home language? They're gonna give you a text, a text, an article, or whatsoever. Right? Maybe there's forty lines. Right? And all they want is for you to shorten that thing so that it can be quick to read. Let me make an example. You find that you are going to write an exam, right? And if you're going to write this exam that you are going to write, um, you want you are writing tomorrow, right? And you just want to cram pass and forget because that's what you do there, right? So what you do? You're going to have to find something that's going to summarize everything in short because you don't want to read the whole textbook, right? So that's what a summary is. It's just a simplified version of something so that it can be easier to go through, right? Perfect. Now, we're going to go deeper into it because I always do go deeper, right? I don't want to go deeper. I'm going to go deeper, right? So now, how do you do the summary? Number one, step one. I don't want to waste your time. Step one, um... One thing that makes learners to get a summary wrong is that they want to give you something. Ne? They're in English paper one, then they want to give you a title, they want to give you uh, paragraph one. Listen to me, paragraph one, they want to give you paragraph two or paragraph three, whatever text or article they want to give you. Hope I'm making sense. Sure. Now, when in your mind, because you know that you are writing a summary, you're going to make the mistake of taking this title. Maybe they want to say, um, they're going to talk about uh, MK. Is the third leading uh, political party? They just say MK uh, is in the top three. Is in the top three, for example, right? And then what's going to happen? Well, then you're going to say automatically your mind is going to tell you that you have to summarize based on the title of this text, which is wrong, right? What you are summarizing based on, you might find that they, yeah, they're saying you must summarize. Ne? Listen to me, they must say summarize how the elections went. Ne? How the elections proceeded or whatsoever, right? And when you are busy summarizing on how MK made it into the top three, that's not the same thing. Yeah, they want to know how they... So basically, when you read this, you must only take out points on how the elections proceeded, right? But someone is going, just going to see the title and just dig into it and start summarizing MK is in the... Which is why a lot of learners get wrong or get zero because they summarize the wrong thing. So the first thing is that you must look my point is the first thing is that now you must look at what they're saying you must summarize right when you're dealing with the summary you must look at what they're saying you must summarize then what 
right? What they say you must summarize. Like it's there. There's gonna be four points that they write before they tell you to summarize. It's there. You just have to look at it and then you start summarizing. Perfect. Uh, now, number two, please do look at your word count. Before I'm gonna, uh, before I actually dig into it, uh, look at your word count. It's usually sixty or seventy, right? Um, uh, uh, the person who taught me English in grade eleven, grade twelve, is an English senior marker, and he used to tell me that in the department, oh, at the department, by the way, uh, if you, you if you exceed seventy, they minus two marks, right? Sharp. So number three, another thing that you must do, um, read attentively, right? Read attentively. Perfect. Now, let's go to the second step. Now, let's just say they are saying, um, let's talk about how the elections went in May, how the elections proceeded. I don't know where I get the went from, I'm sorry. Proceeded. Uh, or how the elections took place so that people can understand right sharp so they say summarize how the elections took place but the article is talking about mk being in the top three right where now what you must do first step draw a table ne? this side of your table ne? this side of your table you are going to have a from text the other side you're going to be having own words perfect ne? From text is what? From text is all the points that you are going to identify in the in, in the text or whatever that means to this, you're gonna put it this side. Yeah? So let's just say here they wrote, maybe here they say uh, some votes were stolen. You'll say, oh, some votes were stolen. Were stolen. Alright. Um there was a fight between political parties. Uh, there was a fight between political parties when the votes the votes were being counted. Where well, political parties um, fought um, when the votes would be encountered. I'm not going to continue. I'm just going to leave it here for exemplar purposes. Um, will be being counted. Right. So let's just say you identify those points. Yeah? Note, I'm not saying take two points because they're going to say outline at least five to seven points. When I don't say because K Pro was using an example of two points, they're gonna do that in your exam. No, please don't disappoint me. Right. So what's going on now? You've identified now. You, you were able to take whatever they were talking about, which is how the elections took place. You took those points and you brought them on the side of the table. Yeah. So that you don't get confused. Then what do you do? Then you come and say onwards. You can go and check the English memorandum. They also draw a table at the marking center before they can do the paragraph. Yeah. Because the paragraph they just want to examine if you know how to train sentences. Yeah. So it doesn't have marks. Why has marks is this team? Yeah. Now that you know that they saying from you got the words from the text, it says some votes are stolen. Well now make sure just take one word and change it. That's it. Some votes. Okay. Some votes were stolen. Okay. Try and find a word in all of these things that you can change. Right? Which word do you think you you you, you, you can change? You can say okay you can just say okay some votes were stolen right i could say some votes are missing it's the same thing some votes are missing and remember make sure that when you summarize don't add more words to this some of you guys when you summarize we say change one word you add two more words because you want to make sense no because one one learner would have said a portion of votes you remember that you're adding a portion you're adding an extra word there and now you're no longer summarizing, you are now expanding. So I have a right to give you wrong. Yeah. So some votes were missing. Can you see that I chose stolen to missing? Right? The marker is to give me a mark for what? For being able to change, which means I know language, I understand English. Right. Number two, political parties. I'm sorry for that. Political parties fought when the votes were being counted. There was conflict. Yeah. There was conflict during counting during the counting process of votes during the counting process of votes i'm not you see now i changed the whole sentence because then i mean i'm at that level but when i just change one word political parties fought ne, when the votes were being counted right you can just say there was conflict between political parties anything that can change the word fought right and then you just that's what you do one word only then 
to the mark right so if they say seven points when i get another point right teacher exactly it is from the text five six seven then this side you change it you change it you change it if you have this table alone you have seven out of ten for the summary already how about making sense and then now they're gonna say write it in a paragraph format because they want to confuse you it's easy now you paragraph format paragraph ne? that paragraph i'm not saying you must say paragraph before right? just write the paragraphs under the table ne? sharp paragraph now join me i'm going to teach you english in the right way uh, when i only gonna do is just gonna say slides at Toti. what do you know we have things called conjunctions or a term called conjunctions ne? conjunctions some of you guys know it you learned about this in grade six what are conjunctions my conjunctions it is joining words it's joining words see i join another name see right it's it's words that can join two sentences if i put it in simpler terms so this is what you're going to use to do this check some votes are missing okay some votes listen when you do your paragraph you no longer look at these you take whatever is here and you create your own paragraph some votes were missing and the word end is a conjunction when we talk about conjunctions, I'm talking about about but, about because, about end. Ne? End is a conjunction. And there was conflict during the accounting. Da, 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 da. Uh, making sense. But if you have a problem using conjunctions, don't bother yourself, man. Just take these sentences and write them. Full stop. You just say some votes were missing. Full stop. There was conflict. Full stop. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly is the only don't use joining words if you don't know how to use them. Ne? They will give you a mark. At least you'll get somewhere like my nine out of ten for that. As long as you did the paragraph. If there's anything difficult about the summary, then you can um, hit me up on the comment section and I'll definitely respond. Don't forget to follow us on all detail platforms from me, your boy, the hardest boy in Africa, the hardest tutor, the hardest tutor in Africa. You know that. I'm out. Peace.